All right, so this is my 1988 Fiero. All right, I'm here at the whole shop and I got an 88 Fiero that I'm gonna take out for a nice drive while the sun is like just starting to set. We're gonna go up to the Palisades. They got a lookout on New York City. It's only like 10 minutes from here. We're gonna go up there, do a little walk around around the car. And basically this is where I charge as well. We had a couple issues with the car that we fixed over the weekend. Uh, let me just give you, a, well, you know what, we'll give you a tour once we get up there. But basically, let's see, if you turn this on, lights, okay, you know, it's old school, man. This is like Ferrari from GM. It's the coolest thing ever. It's like a Ferrari made by GM, right? It's a mid-engine car, and um, let me open the back for you. Let's get the, it's like being a celebrity. It's so cool. It's like a little tiny like sports car that's on the floor. I always wanted one of these. Not exactly a Ferrari, but like a, like a car like this, you know? Uh, anyway, so check this out. All right, so let me put the key here. Okay, so this is your batteries, right? There's your charger. This is like on-off circuitry, <laughs> flux capacitor. Down in there is your speed controller, uh, 12 volt battery. Anyway, there's a lot to learn. We're gonna have a class coming up, uh, Electric Vehicles 101. Second time we're running it. This time we're running it January 19th, Northvale, New Jersey. Sign up is on the link in the description. Let me show you more about the car. All right, so if you go here, open it up. You got two more battery packs in the front, plus there's an electric heater. All right, everything else is stock. All right, so if you get in the car, it's all the same stuff. All right, so you got all the same stuff here, right? So you put the key in. Standard GM key goes in there. All right, so. All right. Whoa. Okay, regular stuff. Now it's upset because I didn't put the brake off yet. There, brake is off and the noise you're hearing in the back is from the uh, charger being cooled. Anyway, so when I hit the pedal, let's make sure she's out of gear. It's stick shift. Here we go, ready? Pretty cool, right? Now here's the thing, you got an RPM counter digital as well and then if you want to scroll through let's say you want to uh, change it you want to change over to the little button right here so now we're looking at volts now we're looking at motor temperature now we're looking at uh, um, controller temperature rpm back to okay so let's look at the amps so it uses amps as it goes up right but then when you go back down it's actually in the positive so what happens, so like if I switch over to volts, the volts go, they dip a little bit, but then when I let go, they go back up because it's regenerating. This is your 12 volt. It's got a stereo that hooks up the Bluetooth because it's retro. A lot, of, a lot of cool stuff in this car, right? Let's take it for a drive and we'll, I'll give you a walk around in the sunlight, all right? Because we're in this like little dingy, you know, uh, concrete garage. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, so she's out in the sunlight. That's what she looks like. And uh, don't forget the coolest part. Ready? Oh my God, that's so cool. Look at that. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Okay, all right, we're gonna head over to the Palisades and we're gonna check it out, okay. All right, so we're headed for, there's like a little park right here just want to you know it's kind of like a perfect spot to show the car and it's just gorgeous today you know so I just want to show what's going on um, basically I'm gonna go real slow down here uh, the car needs a wash that's for sure there's just some dirt on the windshield but it's uh, real fun to drive it's got a uh, stick shift manual you could shift as if it's old-school 
you know, uh, there's no clutch. You just kind of have to time it. And then, um, you know, you roll around here and we're just gonna cruise down to the bottom of the hill. The only thing rattling is like my license plate because I don't have a mount for that because this car is like kind of a sports car. So it doesn't really have like a front mount, which is not required in every state. In New Jersey it is, so I do have to get a mount. Um, but basically, you know, you just drive it like a regular car. You got all your gauges work, everything works. And right now we're in regen, so it's actually putting power back into it. And it's hard to see that. Sorry, I'm not the best, you know, one-handed filming. Uh, you know, we're doing it on a side road, so it's not, you know, there's no cars here. And we're just kind of slowly going down this hill. And it handles nice. It's like low to the ground, you know. It's like a, it's like a, you know, like a little Ferrari, you know. And it's got a little pep, I will tell you, it's a, it's a little bit underpowered. And, but that's gonna get solved. You know, I didn't build this car. I bought the car from uh, someone in New Jersey, but the car was built as sort of a prototype experiment in 2012 uh, by uh, a guy in California. And what's really cool is he gave me this book. This book has everything you possibly would wanna know about the car and down to the, let me tell you something. <laughs> The, if they bought gear oil, they put the receipt in. Tires, they got the receipt. If they bought the, um, if they spent anything, I mean, seriously, if the guy farted, he wrote it down in the book, all right? So, uh, you know, a oh, beautiful spot to show this car. It's, there's a lot of potholes here, so just to be fair, that's what the noise is about. It's not normally noisy. All you hear is like a little winding because of the, it's because of the motor. It's like, doo! you know, kind of thing. I don't know if you hear that. So let me, you can hear that, right? Yeah. Look, there's a Tesla over there. All right, all right, we're gonna pull in. We're gonna pull next to the Tesla. Okay, so this is the car. We got it next to a Tesla here. And it's the car is dirty, I'll admit that. I know that. But we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna clean it up eventually. Okay, and we're right here, right next to the George Washington Bridge. This is where the plug goes. That's where you charge up. All right, so I just got back home. So let's shut her down. It's got nice heat, I will tell you. That's kind of a cool feature. All right. <laughs> okay. So, now how to charge, all right? Take this, and what you do is Grab yourself your J1772 standard charger for electric cars, not the Tesla one. Click, and then over here, I just plug it in, literally. Just plug it into the side here. Now you gotta be thinking, well how long does it take to charge? Uh, okay, so it's gonna blink, and then it's gonna say whether it's charging or not. And red means charging. Okay, blink, 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 and charge. Okay, charging, and I'm gonna leave it charging for a couple hours until until that's ready. Now, I didn't go very far, uh, but we'll just give it a shot. All right, so that's basically it. This is the electric car, and it's gonna be at the class. So if you wanna learn how to do this, you know, the cool advantage is that um, if you know how to work on these cars, you can get them for cheap. So guess how much I paid for this car? Uh, put that in the comments. Uh, all right. All right. That's basically it for now. Okay. See you later.